everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 42, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance called, oh wow, the Ten Commandments. Is that a reference to um, the Seven Deadly Sins? Love that anime. All right. So Nimrod, Omega Sentinel, and infamous Iron Man are banned. So that means Warlock isn't. So he might be somebody that I will bring in. We'll see what the uh, defenders look like. Let's spectate here. Okay, so, hmm. I don't think they benefit really from this node. So, you know, um, I don't like fighting stealth suit, but I can. Uh, AQ is down right now, so I could bring in Nick Fury just for that extra um, safety. And I don't remember. I don't think he gets armor ups either. So that'll be good. Um, Spider-Ham is not going to be very difficult, I don't think. Um, it would help to bring in someone who can handle, you know, evades, but... Oh, boy. And then we've got future Ant-Man, who, if you saw my last video, um, that was a scary fight. But my um, Magneto was able to do it, but he's only ranked three. I didn't really like uh, doing that one. Okay, so we've got, um, man. I don't know what's going on today. Things are slipping my mind. I just came back from uh, taking my, my stepsister to the doctor. Uh, but anyway, uh, guillotine 2099 here. Uh, definitely going to need a bleed immune for sure. Um, I guess Claire can do it. And then we've got... Mm, mm. Killmonger, don't like him. Um, but, and then we've got infamous Iron Man up there. All right, so I can bring Claire. I can bring Nick Fury. And I can bring Magneto. And that should cover everything really yeah that should cover if i need to take that infamous iron man um it'll cover this future ant-man um it'll handle my path yeah so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna bring in um nick fury magneto and Claire. Let's take a look around here, see what people are doing, what they're putting down, even though I don't have to deal with some of this. Uh, Boss Island, we'll just see who I have available and, and what's needed. Um, it's a lot, you know, for me to try to try to plan all that out and, you know, think about uh, Boss Island, but Oh, man. Omega Sentinel on that node can be annoying, but hmm, I don't know. That spot, probably Nick Fury could do it if he still has um, his uh, life, his second life available. He could probably do that fight. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, Korg, if I'm needed for help, Claire could do that fight. So, all right, let's get on with the fighting. Okay, so this is the team I'm going in with. Warlock, Claire, Nick Fury. Beast. All right, love this team. All right, so the first fight is going to be against that uh, stealth suit Spidey, who I don't like fighting. And he's not difficult, uh, but if you don't keep a cool head, he can wreck you. He will wreck you hard, okay? Um, 
one of the things that I just, I don't know why, but it just gets to me is his multi-hit combo. You know, even if he's hitting into my block, some reason it just kind of irks me and it makes me want to be even more aggressive than I normally am. You know, just imagine if someone didn't hurt, but if they just start slapping you many times, even if it didn't hurt, it's probably going to really tick you off. Um, that's kind of what is like there with me. All right. Now with this meta, because Warlock has a armor up, he will do the uh, power burn. So if you look at the right, you'll notice that there's a power drain and a power burn. Because of course, Warlock has his own when he has those infections, plus the attacker tactic. Now this guy is running the uh, recoil masteries. We are not allowed to place with recoil masteries on uh, because, you know, at this level of competition, it gives your opponent an advantage. There are very few champions that actually benefit from being placed with the recoil masteries. For example, Elsa Bloodstone. She actually performs better. They have to counter her if she's running or if you're running um, the recoil masteries because you're going to have at least double edge. She has to have at least double edge and you've got to go in there with a uh, mutant or else you're going to get wrecked. So that's an exception. And there's some others. Uh, anyone that's immune uh, can help out, but you really, really don't want to place with them if you're trying to be competitive. Now, this guy here, very, very, very funny to fight. For some reason, they coded his AI, and this AI loves to fire heavy attacks, just loves to. There have been times where he's just like, bam, 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 just heavy, 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 okay? I don't know why. Um, but now, he is very annoying because when he fires that special one, you got to wait. Because if you do any damage, it's gonna get reflected back. The only time you can do it is if you are gonna kill him right, you know, before he can get that power back. All right, just look at that damage. Love me some uh, Warlock, let me tell you. Ah, beautiful. All right, so like right here, if he had fired his special one, I would have still finished him off before um, the damage got reflected. So it would have been all right. But yeah, in this meta, especially, Warlock is great. If he goes up against some of those um, prowess um, defenders, yeah. That's why he's often uh, banned. Not as much as Nimrod and uh, infamous Iron Man, but they ban him too. All right, so this fight here against Guillotine 2099. Now... Claire can do this fight. Um, Warlock can do this fight. And I wanted to use Claire. One of the things that you have to do in the beginning when you're fighting Guillotine, and I didn't do it there, is to do the heavy attack. So she went Digi. Now it's on cooldown. So now I'm good. I should have done that earlier. I did it all out of uh, order. Okay. So, I'm staying in Curse of Blood for right now. All right, there we go. We nullified it. And again, I'm just not playing it the way I know I should. Okay, but here we go. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just stay in Curse of Blood. Fire that special one. I mean, a uh, special two. Heal up. And go from there. All right. Bam. Bam. However, the timer wasn't uh, out, so I need to hit her again. Now it's on timer. That digi cloak is is annoying. Okay, here we go, healing back up. Okay, and I was a little too far there. I had the spacing wrong. All right, but she's almost down. Look at that, one hit, bam, digi. <laughs> That's why you don't go in with uh, full combos against her. Unless that Digi Cloak is on cooldown. And she's just firing that special one, which is also annoying because it's gonna power drain you. So it's really annoying. 
All right, so here we go, and bam, done. Annoying fight, but really, as long as you have a bleed immune, Nebula could have done that fight. Uh, Warlock could have done that fight. Um, pretty much anyone that's bleed immune could have done that fight, as long as you know how to fight her. All right, now this guy right here, I have nightmares of fighting Killmonger in Alliance Quest I think it was when map seven first came out and my path got converted to that um, vivific uh, vivification. <clears throat> if you guys remember that path in the beginning, it got nerfed, but in the beginning it was giving them so much power and it was insane. It was insane. And I was using Corvus for this path. And even that was dicey. The damage was off the chain. The power game was crazy. And it was Killmonger, who is an annoying defender anyway. So see, right there, he got his uh, special one off. So I cannot go firing into his head, into his uh, block, or else I will get wrecked. Okay, so you can see here, um, I'm power draining him a little bit. But I actually wanted him to go to a special two so that I could go ahead and get it. Now, you'll notice also that this person is running the Recoil Mastery, which made this fight way easier than I was afraid it was going to be. And he's down. Nice, smooth, and easy. Okay, now, you guys remember me saying that Infamous Iron Man on that node could be taken down pretty easily with Nick Fury. Nick Fury last war was my recommendation for this fight. And you'll remember they went in with Gallon, it didn't work out too well. And I'm like, Nick Fury can do it. Now, the reason that I decided to do that right there, if you look at the time, I was about to go live. I didn't want to have any kind of issues we had been waiting for the longest time, and I was just like, you know what? Forget it. I had a um, boost on, and I was like, okay, I can get my boost. Two, one, boom. Invulnerability boost gone. I was trying to hurry up so that I could get that invulnerability boost, and I was just like, wow. And so I'm sitting here looking at it, and I'm just like, yeah, may as well. I'll be able to go get another one you know, later on, they don't cost that much, but it was still annoying because I could have, you know, just saved that invulnerability boost, 10,000 10, loyalty. All right, so let's watch how Nick Fury does on this node against infamous Iron Man, who is not bleed immune. Boom, look at the blood, look at the blood, look at his health, oh my goodness. He's just going down. Oh, no. Look at him. Oh, unblockable? Yeah, I already learned how to evade that. Boom, boom, boom. Woo. And what, what? Unblockable again. Woo. Don't matter. Nick Fury. Tear him up. What? Unblockable. Yeehoo. Yeah. Regen? Really? Yeah. That ain't gonna help you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Try and heal up. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Heal up. Heal up. All right. Now you're done? Yeah. Bam. Woo, look at that bleed. Oh. Mm. Tick, 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 tick. Boom, 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 boom. And he's down. Nick Fury's a beast. And that's not even the real Nick Fury. That's still the life model decoy. Nick, I'm sorry is my favorite skill champion. Kingpin is a beast. I like Kingpin as well, but not as much as I like Nick Fury. All right, I believe that was, was, was that it? Yeah, that was it. Um, I was going to take that spot, but uh, my alliance mate also brought in Nick Fury. And of course, uh, he got in before. I was like, yeah, but he was already boosted up, he said. Because uh, I was like, yeah, my Nick Fury is still is in the life model decoy. 
he was like, well, I'm already got a six hour boost on. I was like, you take it. <laughs> and so he did. Anyway, uh, we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war as well. We are on a nice little uh, winning streak. We need to win in order to stay in Platinum 2. We lost the first war, uh, two wars of the season. Now we've been winning these last two. We need to keep on going. All right. And take a look here. All right. So we we are definitely capable of it. We're, we're getting our defense uh, straightened out. And we're communicating a lot more. And the results are there. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.